I am Red Cyclone! Daria! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better, I Swear podcast. I'm your host, Louis Deans, and I'm here with Mark with the mic. What is going on? What is going on? John, John, Mark. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm waiting on God of War Ragnarok, man. I am dying to play this game. (laughs) You got, what, two hours and a half to wait, maybe? Yeah, hopefully. If not, I'm then I'm just getting a release date. I'm gonna get my money back and get get a release date. Okay, okay. I so only pre ordered it to get it early. Day not getting it early, day not getting my money. Uh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. Even though it's ten dollars off. So, so that's the date for physical or digital? Uh, physical Wednesday. The digital too, like uh, we got like midnight. But the early one, the early one is supposed to be physical or digital. Or physical. Both? Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. All right. So That's yeah, good. God of War Ragnarok is like right around the corner. This game is getting like tens everywhere. It mm-hmm. looks fantastic. I if you played uh eight uh the God of War two two thousand eighteen, it's kind of like it's a sequel to that particular game and that game was fantastic as it is um if they ever make a thor game they should use these people <laughs> all right all right because okay. that acts acts like is like min minure and fucking the way it comes back into you and stuff like that it's actually really dope mm-hmm. but i can't wait for that game i really can't but right now i'm trying to finish uh platinum gotham and I'm almost there. I'm like halfway. Um, no, I'm actually like three quarters away of the plan, uh, to of the trophies. Now it's just grinding and freaking uh, just finishing the game again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um, that, that's what I've been doing. Um, I got some figures in. I got uh the last Ronin, NECA version of the comic book of of the Ninja Turtles last Ronin comic. Um. The figure is fucking dope. It's so cool. It's like I now this one is, accurate. huh? This one is from the comic book, right? The yes. Last Ronin yes. series. Okay. Last that Ronin. is how old right now? Is it this year that came out? Last year? Uh, started. Like how old is this? It part? started in twenty twenty. Okay, so it's two years. Gotcha. But like a lot of the books delayed and stuff like that. So it started in twenty twenty, ended like uh the end of last year. All right, cool. It was really cool. good. It's a five part series, um, done by IDW Comics. Uh, um, it's a fantastic read. If you have, if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles, you're a fan of just good storylines and comic books. This is a, one of my favorite comic books I read last year. And um, yeah, they just uh, NECA just did a run of figures. They have the first two, which is the the full black suit with Mike. Uh, it's Michelangelo. If spoiler alert, it's Michelangelo. Um, mm-hmm. They have the full black suit, and they have one without the the jacket. There's another figure that's without the jacket and stuff like that. Um, okay. So I got my first one in, and this is the comic accurate one. Um, Playmates did also did a last run of figure, but it looks more like their their line of figures. They did a the regular one and then the black and white one, like you were saying. That was the Playmates one. Okay, cool. So, cool. It's really dope. Um, I actually like the box because the box is the co- the comic book cover art and it opens up like a comic and it looks really dope. So this is I appreciate with NECA that they actually make the box. You, it makes me not want to open them because the box act the them in the box looks really do- really dope. So I'm like. Is, so this is also, this is post no windows, but it has a window, right? Uh, well, NECA's doing the windows. They they didn't never said they're gonna stop. It's the okay. Hasbro that stopped it. All right, all right. Yeah. So they their their boxes. They that's not that's not an industry wide book. thing. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. it's mainly Hasbro. Like that's the only one that's I got doing you. kind of doing it. I mean, um, I, I I understand it's not the most optimal for viewing of your figure. Yeah, I appreciate. 
I appreciate the covers that you can pull off, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's I, that's one of the things I like a lot. I like the NECA so, ones because they have the book. They they they're, they're like a book. So basically, it's the figure it has an open uh, open cardboard that you can see. Then you can see the window. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. that. So. Mm-hmm. so I got that in. Um, I'm very excited. I really want to open it, so I'm looking for a second one before I could open it. So it's a really dope figure. Is it a super expensive figure, or is it nah, still, is it because it's new? It's still a regular price. It's like thirty four ninety nine. Okay. They actually, be, I've been finding them on Best Buy. Best Buy, honestly, if you're looking for certain figures, look on Best Buy dot com, yeah. because they're starting okay. to get a lot of NECA stuff, and um, no one knows that. Understood. Understood. <laughs> okay. I, I saw like all the horror ones on sale. I saw a couple of the Ninja Turtle ones on sale too. So definitely check Best Buy because Best Buy have been getting NECA figures. Ah, uh, I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, that's my, my my only get that thing I got this week. Oh, and I did, I got an SSD card for my my PlayStation Five. I caught a two terabyte one for a hundred bucks. And now, what's the brand that made that one? Uh, Sanxum. Okay. And it has the heat that's in cool. thing cool. already. It was actually really easy to do. Um, the, I th- say the most difficult thing if you never opened your place the took the panels out the PlayStation Five. I think that's the most difficult thing to do. Beyond that, everything else was pretty easy. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. But um, it does make shit faster. Like I downloaded um, well, I downloaded a little Cyberpunk PS5 version on my PlayStation. And from what it usually will go for about 30 to 45 minutes for me to download it, it took less than seven minutes. Okay. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> that's the difference. Those are my updates. <laughs> I don't have a lot. Good stuff. Good stuff. I, I'm. I might track down that uh, the last runner for you because I like the design of it and it's yep. a very unique look. I sent the so link. It, it's cool. I'll um, send you the best brother. I did. I did pick up, thanks to you, Mark. I checked out stuff on Amazon for wrestling figures, so I I picked up and got an Oscar figure. Nice. Well, I think it's a, it's closest to her latest uh, iteration, so it's cool. It's cool. Um, um, it's the one with the makeup, the green makeup on. Mm-hmm. With oh, the little sweet. mask. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but. Shout outs to Ringside Collectibles for doing their Thanksgiving sale early now. Well, then again, I realized also Black Friday sales have started. Yeah. So that's the thing. So if you want to check out some wrestling figures, check out uh, Ringside. And then what's the what's the deal? They're doing a, a donation. And that's oh, yeah. something oh, related to major, major. Yeah, major figure podcast. They're doing a toy drive. They're doing the toy drive. Yes, mm-hmm. if you order figures from there, you can have it sent to the toy drive directly, even if you can't attend. Yes. I believe that you can just check um, the major wrestling figure podcast. There, they have a. I'm sure they have a website. They have YouTube. They have freaking they have Twitter. They have all that. So if you need the information, they it all you have to do is check out major wrestling figure podcast on anything. And yeah, it's a good cause for Toys for Tot. So. They yes. do. Yeah. They do it every. They've been doing it for the last since the podcast came out. I think the first time they did it was the first year. So, um, it's actually a good. It's a good cause, and I usually send something. I usually send, probably spend about a, like seventy five bucks, and I'll send it. Some figures. Sure. And they have a bunch of discounted figures. So if you don't have that much, I know things are tight, <laughs> right? It, it is what it is. This year is twenty twenty two, but people can get some discounted figures, and you can also send them. They're as I'm low as like three, four bucks. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Last year's top seller of the of, of the holiday drive was Sami Zayn. I won't be surprised. It will be Sami Zayn again. <laughs> Sami Zayn again. Okay. 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 He has a three dollar figure on, on 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 there, and I was like, yeah. I, but I think more people want that figure now, so I think it's gonna be more popular. That, that's now. true. That's interesting. I, okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. But just some something positive to shout out involving yeah, yeah, figures. Definitely. So there you go. Definitely. Um, as far as game stuff that I know, I checked out the the, the Target Black Friday catalog, which they say it uh, refreshes. I think every few every day. Yeah. 
so they're gonna have different things so today they have uh, let's see series X plus Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 bundle for 300 that's $70 off I, be I believe you basically get the game for free arcade one up Simpsons cabinet is on sale from it's 300 it used to be 700 it's a pretty big uh, slash in price but again these are very very uh, time sensitive so if you hear this go get it now arcade one up super pac-man discounted 120 used to be 180 they got oh there's a lot of them on sale they got the arcade one up x-men nice um that and that's 500 yes yeah, 500 down from 750 the game battlefield 2042 it's 15 bucks but i from 30 i think that game is on fire though don't, i don't want to buy that yeah that's <laughs> training special edition which is interesting that that is here and it costs so much it's 70 dollars down from 100 i don't know if it came with if that's the one that came with a bunch of physical stuff and that might be why it costs so much if that's the case if you like kojima and you like um what's that actor's name i forget his name that played daryl that's um, in death stranding i don't know his name <laughs> Uh, uh, I, but that's I'm, I'm so mad because yeah the guy I, I'm so mad I can't remember his name because when I watched The Walking Dead I knew his name and now <laughs> I haven't seen him in so long yeah but he's the actor associated with it it's a statue of him I believe it comes with a bike oh, okay. I'm not sure so that's why it's still because that game came out that Norman came Reedus out. Norman Reedus there you go there you go <laughs> um F122, which is a racing game. That's uh, half off. It's $30. Uh, FIFA 23, I don't care. I don't care. Don't buy FIFA. Stop buying FIFA. I said it. Stop buying it. <laughs> it Takes Two is on sale for $20. Um, Sky Resort HD is is 50% off at $30. Uh, well, here we go, Mark. We can officially say a Nintendo game is on sale. <laughs> yeah. So I hear first. <laughs> uh, Madden NFL 23 is thirty dollars down from seventy. Didn't that fire. just come out? But I'm saying, didn't that just come out? <clears throat> yeah, it's a dumpster fire. So yeah, don't yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, don't buy. Matt, I we 100% endorse this game, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, twenty five dollars. No, 100%. Please pick that. Up. Go pick it up. That, Please that, pick that game up. Is more than more than worth it. That the game. Quarry's another one, forty dollars. Uh, down from 70 red dead redemption 2 25 down from 60 i don't why is that game still so expensive what why is it on sale? that shouldn't be that much sakuna of rice and ruin which i know that's actually a pretty cool game uh it's on sale 32 down from 40 uh wwe 2k22 that's on sale 35 mm. down from 60. that was a good game mm -hmm. plants vs zombies battle for neighborville uh 50 off so that's 20. monopoly animal crossing edition i did not know they made that that's cool that's 13 bucks uh i might be looking into this astro a10 wired headset is uh ten dollars off is 50 dollars from 60. just because i need a headset nice. i don't have one mm -hmm. and nice. they have hyper x cloud wired gaming headset 40 dollars down from 60. We got an instant three in one charger for the Nintendo Switch. That's twenty four dollars. Check that out. Uh carrying case also same company, seventeen dollars. So if you don't have a carrying case for your switch, buy it. Nice. Uh there's a, a few more other things down here, but that's most of the stuff that I think is, you know, at least uh not super expensive and you got a console in there obviously yeah. i don't see any sales for ps5s they're just getting into popping up yet. but i believe there are bundles yeah there's a god of war one out. releasing this week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so stay tuned because i'm sure there'll be for other games not that one but i'm sure there'll be other ps5 bundles on sale so i'll say if you're looking for a ps5 if you're on the lookout for a PS5, look for the Horizon bundle, not okay. the God of War okay. one, because you're not going to get the God of War one, but you'll uh -huh. get the Horizon one, because that one came out first, and you can just buy God of War afterwards. True. The other thing is, also, the Switch had a bundle. Nice. That's very recent, for the new Pokemon game. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but they had a scarlet system. That shit's so low. The the OLED. So I'm just saying, it's yeah. a it's a thing. It is. It came out. Yeah. It looks really nice though. I forgot the Pokemon game came out. Mm-hmm. Has an uh, unique um, Joy Cons. Has unique etching on the on the Switch itself. So it looks really really nice. nice. Um. Oh yeah, you said you forgot it came out. So I was gonna ask you, did you try it yet? But yeah, yeah I had no clue it came out. <laughs> I know Bayonetta came out too. I thought Jinkies was gonna buy it, but he's mad that it's only on Nintendo. I was like, Nintendo just like See? you. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's how I feel. I I mean the 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 I did not see the scores for Bayonetta. I know they are mostly positive reviews from people that I know who played it, but. The one thing that is unanimous is that yes, the Switch is showing its age. There are some, not a lot, but there's some noticeable um, performance hits in yeah. Bayonetta. 3. Yeah, I got nine. So it's not it's not like it's it's bad. It's not like it's don't buy it because it's on the Switch. But if you don't want to play on the Switch, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So. Well. Is it coming out later on on elsewhere or no? I mean, no, it's a, it's an exclusive game. Oh, exclusive! Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo bought it. It would see after the the second one. Well, after the first one, it was made public that it didn't do that well. Yeah, and that it would not get a, a sequel unless Nintendo pitched in. Oh, okay, so it got Nintendo put in this one. <laughs> Yeah, they they basically put put the money down. It was like okay. put it here. So right. these games will not. As far as I know, they will not appear on another system. But who knows? Maybe Bayonetta Four might might be on a might be free. Who knows? Maybe if it does well. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Like it's the whole thing. Whoever wants to put down the money, maybe Sony will put down. Maybe maybe Microsoft. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Um, also, I'm kind of I shouldn't be as hyped, but I'm kind of hyped for it because I did not play three. I sat it out. Kind of hyped for Diablo Four, nice. and they revealed the, the the month that it's supposed to come out. Um, it's supposed to be April. Who knows if it'll get pushed back to, uh, further than that? But they say April twenty twenty three. Nice. So I did like we'll three. See. I three was good. I like I'm I'm looking forward to it. Good, good, good. I know they supported three for a long ass time too. That's the thing. So hopefully they support four. Hopefully four comes out with a good launch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At this point, so yeah, I hope we'll so. Um, I think that's about it for like stuff that I'm looking forward to. That's on the horizon, like soon. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really into Sonic. It is what it is. I, I'm, I'm in. Oh, I'm, I think, I'm curious about it. I, I, I have a curious. love for Sonic, so I'm like curious. very curious about it. I'm looking no. from a distance, and but God Awards this week, and I'm like. Yeah, nothing's gonna really like take me away from that right now. Yeah, I get that. I get um, that. the Callisto Protocol is another one that I'm looking at. And I'm like, hmm. Let's see where I'm at with God of War, and then true. maybe you'll be next. I don't know. Yeah, that is true. That yeah. is true. The other thing I just forget to mention though, but it's nowhere near coming out. They released today in seven day, 2022. They released a teaser. Another teaser for Mass Effect. Um, it doesn't show much, but in terms of like the implications in the story, it actually kind of is a big deal because it looks like a what I say it was. Then what's the name? Uh, Cerberus. Yeah. Made mass relay. That's what it looks like in the the small teaser, which is like ridiculous in terms of. What it implies in the story of Mass Effect, because they Cerberus ended up becoming basically the big bad guys, because they ended up being enslaved by the the Reapers at the end. <laughs> so, yeah. so let's see what this means. Right? I I'm very excited to see if we get something from Mass Effect. I I love those games, so I'm hoping for something good and not another. <laughs> well, remember the teams involved they're trying to go back to the people that they know that they had from the, the original trilogy let's see what's what's going down you know they still I mean? in the, the direction EA, hmm? they still in the ea though hey listen 
Listen, EA <laughs> let them make the first three games. I'm not mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They let them make the first three. Um, <sighs> we won't talk about the fourth one. We don't talk about that. <laughs> That's right. Has I will, name. I it's not the four. <laughs> yeah. No, but they count. They count this internally. Like it's, it's being called Mass Effect Five. Okay. So. Uh, I know it's gonna have a title. Yeah. It's not just gonna be five. Yeah, know? don't do that. But, Cause then you gotta play. Then you're gonna make people play a drama again. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> uh, I would like to give a shout out to this this um this crew that they put up like gameplay and stuff. They do yeah. streams and things like that. They're called Next Lander. They used to be members of Giant Bomb. Yeah. But they split off to make their own thing. This so in 2022, what they had did was. Uh, they did a, basically a two-man play, well, no, three-man playthrough of Mass Effect and Andromeda just to see what was up all these years later. And it's mostly not as glitchy, which is fine, but they they basically came away from it saying, yeah, it's, it, the story is the, the weakest part of that game. It yeah. really is. The characters, too. It the really characters is. were in nothing either. Well, that falls into the story because, yeah. you know, you got to sit there and watch these characters interact. Yeah. And it's it's just, like, everything about it is weak. It's just weak. So. It's like dry toast. There are some cool set-piece moments in the game, and there's some cool visual stuff. Yeah. But other than, like, it's, nah, man. It's, it doesn't live up to Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. Even to mm-hmm. 3, which people give trouble. Give <laughs> give some little... They poke it. Because, you know, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. There was some stuff with 3 that I didn't like as well. But, like, it's still light years ahead of Andromeda. The only thing that I will say that I liked in part in Andromeda was the the, 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 the dash. Mm-hmm. That was the only thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I could get that dash in other games, I would be happy. Because it just I made would, you yeah, move faster. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. That's it. That the rest true. of this game sucked. That is true. I but. tried too. I really tried to play it, and I I lasted mm-hmm. to about the same spot where I I stopped before, and I was like, "Fuck this game!" And at exactly the same spot, I was like, "Fuck this game! I'm not playing this." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried. Then Legendary Edition. They made me play that shit again. I, I blame that. I blame that game. <laughs> it's all that game's fault. <laughs> Because I was like, yeah, damn, this it, shit was so good. Even Mass Effect 3. I actually like Mass Effect 3. It's not the strongest one, but I, I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. 2 is my favorite, like, hands down. 2 is, two's, yeah, 2 is, two's, I believe, is hands down the best one. 1 has a very, very strong story. I will give it that much. Yeah. Like, I, I, I if, will, you, if you go, if you if you like what's a grade on an on a honest scale of, okay, I've played these three multiple times gone through them multiple times we know that two is the hands down the best one and it's also the favorite right but one story is it, it it does hold up it is very very good i think they had the best um the best and end boss too, like Saren. i like the Saren a lot yeah 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 mm-hmm. 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 i wish he had more a bit more um like in the in game because he was just like when he talked he actually had good conversations and shit so i would say that i would like to see him more in in, in depth but other than that they got, he was great yeah also i think th- that game also shined because it, you had the most time where, like characters like rex yeah characters like tolly characters uh like all the characters they didn't have the thing where they went away because you remember two yeah. some of them weren't with you and three some of them just they yeah. weren't even there because they went away and they came back like rex is one of the best characters in that series i love rex yeah. yeah i actually liked his story too in part one and like the chance there's a point that you you have a option to shoot him i like that whole yep. story like i understood rex i was like yeah dude these guys try to exterminate your fucking culture like yeah i'll be mad too <laughs> And then they try to. Did somebody promise to bring them back? And they made clones. And yeah. like, okay, they're gonna bring us back. I mean, sure, they're gonna use us as slaves, but but it was good stuff. There'll be more than five of us. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the thing. It's yeah. like I, I I don't know how else to say this. There's not that many. We're gonna die. So yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. I liked a lot of things in that, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, like yeah, those games are great. Yeah, I I really enjoy those games. Need That's more true. of those. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, it, it comes back good. 
the other thing I just wonder. Hmm. I just really, really, really wonder because it has the color scheme. Like, I, did you see it? Of what? Let me see if I can send you the picture of what it looks like. The picture of the actual. I sent it to you. I sent it to you on 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 here so you can see it. But they actually just have the 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 picture of what the structure looks like. Oh, okay. And if you you know Mass Effect and you know that color scheme, you know that Cerberus is color scheme. Oh, you know, I, the, I looked at it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent is Cerberus. Yeah. So like, I'm just wondering. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's definitely hmm. Cerberus. That's definitely Cerberus. The black and the yellow. Yep. Yep. They go the orange. The, yeah. Yep. So I'm ex I'm hype. I'm hype. Yeah. See what happens. Loose man's gonna come and try to kill everybody. <laughs> I wonder what's left. Remember, yeah. Who knows the story they took for the actual ending? Yeah. Which one was it? Yeah, it might so, have. It could be the one that uh, he made everyone a, a cybernetic, a cyber, cybernetic. Cybernetic. Could that be. makes more sense. Because mm -hmm. then, then they take away humanity, and then Cerberus still trying to like, oh hell no, they ain't working. Yeah, that's true. For humans. <laughs> I I would like to see that's if 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 it's not Shepard that's returning. I would like to for you to actually make your own guy or girl. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I want to be an alien. Like I would like to be a Terrian or any of the, the or, or a Rex or something like that. Like or like a. I would like to. I I think that will be a good way to to bring that back. Is just to make your own character. I think so. I think so. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see though. It's a long way from now. I think it'll probably come in like two years, two three years. Yeah, they don't. They don't have anything. Did, okay, so here's my question: Do you remember? Did they say anything like to when to expect the Mass Effect? Did they say like 2025 no. or something like that? No, they didn't put anything. They just said it's okay. coming. <laughs> like we're doing it yes, sir. <laughs> it's gonna and happen and they said they are also Bioware is also making in 7 day DLC for the Sims 4 so if you have the Sims 4 there, there you, you go. go there you go Miranda suit uh oh <laughs> <laughs> um, so um no it just looks like t-shirts I, uh, I, I don't see any suits yet so maybe maybe so talking about EA um they signed a, they signed a deal with Marvel to do a couple of Marvel games I did see that and it made me skeptical as hell so the only good news I have off of it is the Iron Man game so the Iron Man game is being made by the people that's doing the Dead Space remake okay cool, cool. so I have a little hope in that because that game actually looks really good all right. All so right. I'm like, huh. Okay, EA. All right. I see you. <laughs> I don't trust you. But I see yeah, you. I don't trust you. If Respawn is not doing one of them games, uh, it, it's a shame. Respawn got to do everything. Like I, I like a EA Respawn. I think that's the only EA thing I, <laughs> I'm actually like. The other thing that, that they made, um, they made front and center in that announcement was that they were going to be different. Yeah, they were not part of a continuing storyline, and I think they said that a majority of them are story like story based. Yeah, they were in single player. And say, oh, okay, I didn't know if they said single player specifically. Okay, okay. So Iron Man's gonna be, I think, first on the line. I think Black Panther was announced. It's gonna be one of them as well. Yeah. So if there's a Marvel character that you want to be made in the game, uh, in EA's realm, what would you think? I mean, I don't necessarily mean just EA, but if you mean as a part of this, yeah. I would say I want some street level heroes to get games. I want an Iron Fist game. I want a Luke Cage game. I want a who else is like street street? Where's Daredevil? Why don't we do like a Heroes for Hire or maybe Mar a Marvel Knights game? That's Why like not? a beat 'em up, like made by the people that the streets are age. Why not? Through like Iron Fist, well, like Cage, if you're gonna... Shang Chi, and Blade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? I'm, I'm, I'm just for saying. That. <laughs> like, where are they? Or, or here's the other thing. At some point, I think somebody needs to make a game star in the villains. 
maybe mm. not the Thunderbolts per se, but I would love a game where you're a bunch of street level thugs, like the the, the, the street level villains like Shocker and Scorpion and all that, and you gotta fight the superheroes and you just you get your little wins off, but at the end you know you're gonna get your ass beat. Like I <laughs> Well, so, there's some stuff like that or like if if every chapter was a different street level villain and at the end you faced off against that that here that villain's hero because how cool would it be if you had a chapter and you were freaking stilt man you know what i'm saying like I'm, I'm just, but i'm saying there's no there's no realistic way that these villains are ever going to get shy yes yeah, sure. a lot of them are going to get shy you know what i mean like so if somebody oh said you know well, screw this I'm taking all these D-level villains. Yo, I'm taking Avalanche. I'm taking Pyro. I'm taking... I don't want to keep saying members of the Brotherhood, like, but, like... like just <laughs> Those are the ones I know. Other... <laughs> no, they're the ones it's I shocking. know. But, like, between Spider-Man's villains and, and the X-Men D-tier. Boomerang. You know what I'm saying? But, like... I would like Seriously, to be Green though. Goblin. Fly around with the glider. I think he's too high tier. I mean, yes, you're right. How do I Spider-Man Man 3 tried it and it wasn't great. Um, you, you know who did a good one? Lego Marvel. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Lego does everything good. They, they do everything they do. simple. And they, they do it. Yeah, good. I, I think that's why. <laughs> yeah, the simpler the better. I mean, you're not yeah. wrong. The simpler the better. It is what it is. Um, but that's just my take. If you're going to do something cool and innovative and then put money behind it, yeah, let's do something new. Well, DC's kind of doing something like that with uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, but it's too high. Yeah. Like, the thing about them is that they are a well-known quantity, and they're too popular. Like, yeah, sure. I need scrubs. I need, need scrubs, scrub. dog. You need the scrubs. Or the Great Lake Avengers. I'm not talking about a story that ends up where, oh, Galactus and... Uh, and Thanos is here, or Doctor Strange. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want anybody above a certain power level. Yeah. I just want D tier. D tier. I want guys that rob banks, and blow up stores and shoot up the streets. I don't want guys that are in space doing crazy stuff. No, no, no. No. So that's yeah. that's all I really want. <laughs> oh man. All right. So that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, Maybe uh, somebody will steal that idea in the future. <laughs> there you go. And Marvel Knights beat 'em up game made by Street to Rage people. Yeah, why not? Yes. I'll put Moon Knight. So Marvel Knights okay. would consist. All right. So you could have like the main two main being Iron Man, uh, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, Shang Chi. You could have Daredevil in that game. You could have Punisher in that game. Moon Knight. Um, Jessica Jones. You can have mm-hmm. Electra, and mm-hmm. just throw another one. Put X twenty three in there. Why not? Okay. Just so you have an okay. even ballot of women in there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Yes. Maybe Kane. I mean, you can put what's my call from the Avengers in there. I think what's her name, Tigra. Tigra. Yeah, you could do that too. Tigra. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a bunch of characters that. We see them all the time, but they're never oh, in a game. Uh, Misty Knight, I think. She was part of the Marvel Knights. Okay. There you go. But I'm just saying, like, there's characters that we, you did never in a game. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're all in Lego Marvel. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Every not, single one of them. <laughs> not wrong. Go play Lego Marvel. You get to play all your favorite characters. Mm-hmm. They even have the mm-hmm. the blob. You could be Big Bertha. You could be. <laughs> you could be a lot of. You play as the blob. Yeah, blob wow. is in the game. That's crazy. Uh, Big Bertha's in the game too. You know, Big Isn't Bertha? Big Bertha the lady from DC though? She's That's in, a different Big Bertha. No, uh, there's a character named Big Bertha in Marvel that she's okay, part of the okay. Great Lake Avengers, and that she's. A oh, I'm thinking model. of Big Barter. It's a Big Barter, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that she she's a supermodel and it turns into a big. big so that's the lady that they have on She-Hulk or no? Um, yeah. That, isn't that similar? No. It's similar to that. Similar movie, to that, yeah. Right? yeah. All right. Cool. cool. Um, the immor- the mystery mortal they had in She-Hulk. Gotcha. gotcha. That was a great like, adventure gotcha. as well. I mean, where's the elongated man? Yeah. 
He's is he in is he no, in Lego DC. Lego Marvel too? Oh wait, that he is in Lego. No, Marvel. so what's he? He's in Lego DC. <laughs> but he's, he's in Lego DC. <laughs> he is in. Lego. Oh my damn! No, 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 no. Wait, Mark, isn't there in Marvel another guy that stretches? Um, yeah, he's a flat man or something like that. Flat man. Eh? He's like okay. like okay. yeah, he's flat. He he's, but again, flat. he's another D tier hero. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, just Come the whole on, great Lake event team, like that whole team. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's a bunch of C grade characters. Come on, like, why not? So that's what I want. Yep, yep. All right, are you ready to go to our comic book theater? Yes, sir. So this week we have X Men. The Last Stand, X3. It's not the Last Stand. They lied to us. There's like five other movies out there. Well, <laughs> it was at the time. We'll just put it that way. Um, So this one is from 2006. Yep. PG-13. Yep. An hour 44. Too long. Uh, you know what? Maybe a little bit. Maybe yeah, a little I'll, bit. I'll shade off like 10 minutes of the 12. Yeah, maybe minutes. ten minutes. Ten minutes, but no, it was it, was, it didn't stay. As, it didn't overstay as welcome too bad. I'll cut down like uh, the the Phoenix first... staring people, staring at people down a little bit because that's all she did. <laughs> she stared at you. Hey man, man, she ain't had to lift no hands to make you die. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> she ain't lift no hands. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. So, for least they, they do not have it in order. What's up with that? This uh, release May twenty eighth. May twenty eighth. Okay. That is May twenty eighth, two thousand and six. This movie stars. This is the movie. The order they have it in. Hugh Jackman as Logan slash Wolverine. Holly Berry, Aurora Monroe slash Storm. Ian McKellen as Eric Lindsher slash Magneto. Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier. Famke Jensen. Jansen as Jean Grey slash Phoenix, Anna Paquin as uh, Marie slash Rogue, Kelsey Grammer as Dr. Henry Hank McCoy. That was my favorite slash the casting Beast. in this movie. Yes. Yeah, that was a fantasy casting. That was like on point. Was... That was the only thing in this movie for me that was on point was Beast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually... I say the casting wasn't the real bad part. It was just the execution I mean, was. I mean, part. Elliot Page as Kitty Pryor was fine. Yeah, I was fine. They with had the one hundred percent the look. So that and Juggernaut. Yeah. I thought Juggernaut was a good, like a good pick. Vinnie Jones was good for true, Juggernaut. True. It's just I hate the way he he looked like a walk a running penis. Yeah, he didn't have the best outfit. It was kind of whack. He was running cement um, penis. He was the victim of the realism, the realism era. We can't have. Fantastical costumes. We can only wear black leather black or leather. realistic looking stuff. So you gotta wear this dirty looking sure. metal stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, James Marsden, aka Sonic's friend, as Scott, as Scott Sonner, Sonic's Scott Summer, Cyclops, <laughs> uh, Rebecca Romaine as Raven Darkholm slash Mystique, Sean Ashmore, aka what's that? What's the name of the game? But he was the main character. I'm forgetting. Um, for Xbox. Uh, Alan, no, not Alan Wake. Quantum, it was the same people. Quantum Break? Was it, was it Quantum Break? Quantum yes. Break. Yes, he was yes. Mr. Quantum Break. Uh, Bobby Drake slash Iceman. Aaron Stanford as John Allardyce slash Pyro. And we got Vinnie Jones. K. Marco, the Juggernaut. Elliot Page as Kitty Pryde slash Shadowcat. We have Daniel Cudmore as Peter Rasputin slash Colossus. Ben Foster as Warren Worthington the third. This was Angel. like a waste of fucking time. Yeah. His his And I like Ben Foster. His as an actor. subplot. His subplot was kinda whack. Yeah, it was it was trash. It was kinda whack. And um, I like him as an actor. He, he was, was like really literally bad. there for visuals. He was literally there for screenshots and visuals. Because his most of his scenes were just him showing up and posing or flying away and or that cutting was, his wings. <laughs> but th- that was more. That was like the only real story relevant yeah. part they had of him. I didn't like it because most of the stuff was his father, which is played by Michael Murphy, Warren Worthington II, who came up with 
basically another plot from the second movie to make a cure you know what i mean um dania ramirez as callisto which i think was the worst power change in this entire movie yes. made no sense to change up a power set uh shore ag dash lu as dr kavita rao um joseph summer as the president he has, he has no name yeah he's the president i thought this was a cool little bit of like casting bill duke as uh he's bolivar trask in this movie which yeah. is interesting um eric dane as multiple man Desiree Zu. Oh well, I don't really need to talk about the parents. Yeah, Let's yeah, try yeah. to go to the playoffs. Chris Claremont as lawnmower man. And I thought that was a character until I realized no, it was just a man with a lawnmower. Which yeah. is funny. <laughs> Stan Lee was water hose man. Yes. Which I was like, that another character? No, just a man on his lawn with the water hose. That's <laughs> that, it. That's the world. The world's <laughs> worst duel: lawnmower man and water yeah. hose man. <laughs> Oh shit! They take um, on condiments. Man. Let's see. Who else they have? That's of. So Cameron Bright played Jimmy slash Leech, which was a major character. Which I don't know why he's all the way down here. Yeah. Casting. Um, Jubilation Lee. Jubilation Lee, who was in there for like two minutes. Ki Wong. Uh, that's Kia Ki- Ki- Wong. That's yeah. Who else? Shauna Kane as Siren. She was probably in there for like two minutes, maybe in the background, maybe for a little bit more. Luke Paul as Flea. I hardly saw him. Don't even have a picture. Um, Lloyd Adams as Lizard Man. Don't know what character that was. They don't even have a picture of him in the movie, but he has he has a name, Lizard Man. Uh, these guys were mutants. I don't know what they're from. Little Fat and Big Fat and Fat, P H A T. So Richard Yee, Little Fat, Via Sale. Was it Alma? Yeah, Amoa as fat. Uh, they didn't really have any significance. They just showed up. They're mutants. If your favorite character is fat, congratulations. They made it in the movie. Uh, one of the biggest disgraces of this entire movie, she looks so cool and she had like literally 30 seconds of screen time. Psylocke. Yeah. Because it was an alternate look for her character. And she looked badass. Yeah, and she literally just like grabbed a guard and and stood there looking cool in another scene. Like, you wanna know what's funny? Oh, it made me so mad. This doesn't change later on either because they had Olivia Munn play Psylocke and she was on screen for maybe less than five minutes as well. And she looked she looked one hundred percent like the character. Yeah, and yep. it pissed me off. I, I think that was so, like, that that movie just pissed me off because of that. Yeah, and her name was May the the, the actress May Melancholm. Yeah. Um. Also, another character who got more time on the, on the screen than, than Psylocke looked cool as hell, but I don't know who she is. The actress Omahara, Omahira. Yeah. Um, and the character she played was Arclight. I, I'm not familiar with the character in the books, yeah. but I'm 100% upset that she got 150% more screen time than an established character in Psylocke. So mad. Um, let's see who else they have that was actual characters. Ken Leung, yeah, was Kid Omega. That was the Spike guy that killed the the doctor at the end. Yep. He was he had more screen time than a lot of characters. Did one significant thing. I was so mad. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the character Kid Omega though. Do you know the character? I have no clue who that is. Okay, another character who got his race changed for no reason. Got his power set reduced to just doing one thing and was a bad guy for no reason lance gibson plays spike who's one of like the most endearing characters from that era when they made him they just turned him into some generic mercenary looking dude that threw his spikes i was so mad so kid omega actually exists he's a character yeah yeah yeah. um, they're character real characters but like i don't know who they are he's part of the new x-men he's part of the new x-men group okay but Spike, total disgrace to his character. Don't know why they changed him. Any, he could have been one of the kids in the still in, in the damn in the mansion. Yeah. He was at the time, right? Yep. Makes no sense. To me. Um, just trying to see any other of the mutants. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. In terms of every mutant, that's it. Yeah. And Omega Mutie, I don't know who that is, but 
played by David Smith. That was one character. I think they tried to have a character again that had all the powers or something like that. Yeah. It didn't work out. Um, so basically, the this story kind of follows on the heels of the last movie. You have Wolverine still dealing with some stuff. You have Cyclops still dealing with some stuff in the beginning. Because um, Gene died, obviously. That was... This is a direct sequel to X2. Yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah. Um, so with that said, we're continuing that story of the X-Men kind of trying to move on after Jean passed in the last movie. They sacrificed herself to get them out of there. But they do feel that something is still around. Um, unfortunately, when she comes back, she finds Cyclops first. <laughs> and she is not Jean Grey as they knew her she is inhabited by the Phoenix Force which is how she survived Phoenix does not care about Cyclops and immediately disintegrates yep (laughs) in one of my least favorite scenes in any of these movies I I was so mad in the movies when she killed Cyclops I was so mad I was so bad same here (laughs) it just didn't make any sense That, that, that that doesn't stand to reason with the character even later on, she doesn't kill Cyclops to my rec- recollection. The, no. the Dark Phoenix, does she? No, she doesn't. Isn't he like one of the things that holds Jean? Yeah, like tethers her to the earth, basically. Yep. <sighs> so you you can already see this movie's already off to a bad start. They've already destroyed everything you knew and loved about the characters, and basically, Brett Ratner wanted to do his own thing. Yep. Oh yeah, we didn't go to the, uh, the director Brett Ratner, less, famous for a rush hour. directed by Brett Ratner, famous for having a party that had underage children at it, and yes, he got blackballed from Hollywood because of it. Yeah. He's, a, he's a scumbag. Um, also for taking advantage of, I think he also t- took advantage of Olivia Munn. So this yeah. mother, he's not a good person. Um, Simon Kim, it was written by Simon Kimberg and Zach Penn. Do you know them for anything significant? Not at, not at all. Deadpool three. Okay. Uh, one of them is the producer, Simon. Okay. Simon Kimberg, the producer on Deadpool three. Nice. So that's a positive thing. Um, a little bit. Yeah, he well, produced he Deadpool two. He also 2. produced Fantastic Four, so I don't trust him. True, but he produced Deadpool two. I, mean, I got it. He he does all of them. all all the Deadpool all the Fox stuff. So he's got he's got uh, a pass. Oh yeah, he he did a bunch of Fox stuff. But yeah, but he's got a pass for me. Um, Days of Future Past, I thought was okay. First Class, I can't stand that movie. And Apocalypse, I thought was okay. Logan, all right, all right, bro. He 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 gets a pass. Yeah. Um, the other guy, let's see, Zach Penn. He did um, Ready Player Run. Going he's got some. He got some video game chops. Yeah. He's got some video game chops. I see he did uh, Marvel. We were just talking about Le- Leo's Marvel. Marvel Avengers. Yeah. So there you go. He wrote for the Avengers That's a good thing. as well. He the did movie. The Incredible Hulk, which was the good one out of the, the original. So that's good. X2. Right? Um, he did X2. He did X- X-Men The Official Game. I kind of like it. I don't like that game. He did Electra. Yeah. He did write... Action hero. So he's 50 50, I feel. <laughs> he's 50 50. Um, so take it. He's 50 50. He's 45. 60 40. 60 40. I don't forgive him. Alright, he did Osmosis. Ozzy. Osmosis Jones. <laughs> <coughs> I gotta watch that again. I can't tell you off the beginning, off the top the of my head. It's funny. Great. It's funny. It's, it's funny. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, like, again, there's a pedigree here, but like, what they did with this movie, story-wise, I think was okay. So, so Mark, we saw X two, right? Yep. Remember, the main plot of that movie ended up being um, the main villain using his son, that was the mutant to use like his spinal fluid or what have you his brain fluid to make something that basically stopped mutant powers yeah so it's them fi- the president and them finding another way 
I guess a more ethical way to do it. But here's the thing: the, the story to this one almost ends up being redundant. Yeah. Once again, little boy who has powers that can negate mutant powers is being used to make a cure to get rid of mutants. I like. I don't know how often that happens in the story in, in X Men, but for you to make two movies in a row with the same basic theme is kind of like, uh, like yeah. Uh, so already you're starting off on the wrong foot with me. Um, they try to have Magneto recruit fully to make his his brotherhood, but it's made up of like diff, just a ragtag crew of random ass mutants that have nothing to do with anything. They just happen to be ready to join Magneto. Um, there's n- they don't go through the work of giving them costumes. They all just look like generic people. There is something to 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 them with this faction they have called the Omega. Yeah. So that's like a little sub story of the those mutants. It's, but honestly, it's basically them doing the Morlocks. They're trying to make upscale Morlocks because they because remember Callisto's here and she's the leader. Yeah, I, 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 I th- that's what I thought they were gonna be in the begin when I first watched the movie. I thought they were gonna mm-hmm. be the Morlocks. So they they took the Morlocks and tried to make them a higher tier group, right? But then what that did was they just took all the characters and they just started making them whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's like, you could have just made up people at that point. So there's a lot of this movie that's like, why did you even use the mutants' names? And wow. then they changed people's power sets. They gave they gave Callisto super speed. Why? Yeah, because they were like, oh, we could do this. Again, they changed Spike from a young black teenager to like a buff ass, I don't know what he was, Polynesian, Spanish dude, I don't know, you can't even tell, but like... You're like Rock's cousin. But I'm just saying, like... (laughs) Why? When Spike was... Remember, X-Men Evolution was already a thing. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And they were already established characters. So you took a character who was established more prevalently in that era in Kitty Pryde and, and left her alone. But you took the other cast members who got established in that show and you said, I don't care about you and made them whatever. So like it's a lot of this movie just has that stink all over it of them trying to, oh, we just want to make everybody cool. So it it ends up not not doing what I think could have been a decent X-Men movie. It doesn't it just ends up not justice because it's again, it ends up being a Wolverine show. Yeah, he has to take because Professor X gets destroyed by well, disintegrated by by the Phoenix, um, and that's basically how it goes. This is the story of Magneto basically using the Phoenix to destroy to, to his end. He wants to destroy all humans, obviously, and he's he, he uses their plot to cure people to sow like the seeds of dissent between even the mutants because he yeah. wants them to be loyal to his cause. Mm-hmm. So even if you're not on his side, yeah, he might still kill you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or use the phoenix to disintegrate you. So that's that's kind of what it boils down to in the end. Um, I don't know who did you did you like anybody in this movie in particular? Um, the only thing I will say a hundred percent was Kelsey Grammer as Beast. The casting of him was perfect. The guy, that's the only thing I could say that was a perfect casting. I actually liked that some of the casting choices is just that they didn't execute them at, at, at all. Like Angel. Angel, I like Ben Foster as an actor, but yo, you did nothing with him. Like he was just there to pose and show his wings, and that was it. He absolutely did nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. Then you had Juggernaut. I liked Vinnie Jones as Juggernaut. I thought he would have been... I, when I saw the casting for him, I was like, all right, that works. Because he, he's kind of that that big behemoth kind of dude kind of shit. And then they made him look like a penis. He was running around, running around penis. Like, did anyone, like, stop him? We're like, yo, that helmet looks like a dick. <laughs> like, did anyone yeah, stop that? But, but you know what's funny, also, too? You gotta... If you actually look at... Um, one of the original designs, if you actually look at the, the the art shit for like the designs of the costume, he actually had the full helmet. Oh. So what I think that is, Mark, is the fact that this is also during the, if you're an actor, you gotta show your face era. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
That's, so they that's why he had an open face helmet. Those are ways they could have did it better to not look like a penis. They also could have just gave him a full helmet and stopped playing around. Yeah, that's the other that's thing. True. That's true. And look that is, and, but you, but you know what the funny thing is? I'll put it, put it, put that out on Front Street for this movie here. This movie was the prime example of what was wrong with superhero movies. Yeah. Like up until the, up until this time, it was purely Hollywood trying to cash in. No, hundred percent. Yeah. It wasn't a creative entity like Marvel trying to put these things on the big screen. It was literally Hollywood saying, "Let's get these famous people, stick them in suits." Yeah. Not accurate suits. Stick them in suits. I know they were so happy that Beast had that the x-men at that time had that look yeah that kind of kind of copied the movies remember the yeah, black yeah. suits with the gold trim? yeah yeah so beast yeah. was like the literal 100 percent accurate character in the movie that was he had the best the casting in this movie that's the best part of this movie for me was because grandma's beast yeah pretty much yeah. i was 100 percent. i mean i like ellen page's uh, elliot page as as uh kitty pride yeah, again she, still yeah they the were look and what they did in the movie 100 yeah. percent yeah, it, they didn't mess yeah. them up at all. Yeah, Elliot was good. And to that end, I think the, the director probably had favorites for people, like certain people. I'm just saying. Yeah. Characters that he wanted to be, characters and actors and actresses that he wanted to be in the limelight, in the spotlight. Because, yeah. again, some of the people who are at the same like power level or were on the team and stuff like that at that time, it's like, why are they bad guys? Yeah. Why are they generics? Why are they nobodies? Jubilee is the most egregious thing in all these movies. She's like <laughs> the most. Merc, I'm not even making this up. Yeah. Like in the 90s, she's like one of the most popular X Men characters because yeah. of the cartoon. Yeah. And you never saw her in a movie do anything of significance. Yeah. That's crazy to me. That's unbelievable to me. How, you, like, so, Rogue was like almost nothing of a character in this movie, too. But she. Uh, she had yes. her, she had her parts, but she was barely in this movie. But she, I will say, for the story they were trying to tell, her her part made the most sense. Because if it, there's any character that wants to get rid of her powers, is Rogue. Yeah. So when they had that going down, where they had the the, the lines of people crossing, who's gonna get this the, the the treatment, and they were like, "We're fine. We're gonna be the X Men." And Rogue was like, mm, "I don't listen, man." I want to touch people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you know what that's like. So yeah, like it made sense for this for her character. Like she was the one one hundred percent. I could say her character was fine, protected, right? Yeah. But there's this is in this movie, just going through it. It has cool things. Magneto tearing up the bridge was awesome. Magneto stopping that convoy was cool. Like the the Wolverine tearing dudes up at the end was all right. Um. I thought the funny thing with Juggernaut and Kitty Pryde was okay. The I'm a Juggernaut, bitch. You know yeah. all that stuff and running through the wall and whatnot. Like there was a little, there were there were moments, but again, they were peppered with like, yo, why you had to change so much? So yeah, it hurts the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't forgive this movie for the scene that's in the house with Juggernaut that Wolverine just ate a punch. Yeah, made no sense. Like no he sense. got punched directly in the face and not move. But he was getting knocked up and down through the houses and through the building and shit like that. He ate a whole punch and that annoyed the shit out of him. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just again, it was literally you could just tell favoritism. Certain people just had things to happen in their favor. It was just like, yeah, yeah. Nah, that shouldn't happen. Wolverine should have been on the other side of the planet because Magneto should have flung him already. You know yeah, mean? he should have just nailed, like, melted him to, like, stuck him to a thing because he's metal. I'm like, oh, look, you're right there. Yeah. Instead, he just berates him and calls him trash and throws him into trees in the forest and leaves him. And it's just like, oh, come on, man. That's not getting rid of your one of your <laughs> biggest problems. Stop it. Yeah. All right. And then look what happens. Who stops the Phoenix? The same guy you could have stopped a long time ago. So, again... Magneto just wanted to lose. Yeah. He just wanted to have a fight. That's it. That's it. He just wanted. He just wanted to. He. This movie was secretly about Magneto and his dislike for the Golden Gate Bridge. I said it. There you go. So. Um. What do you give this? Two point five. Two point five. So your two point five consists of Daredevil. 
That That's it? Up. Yeah. Uh, this goes under Daredevil. I like Daredevil more than this yeah. one. There you go. <laughs> so under Daredevil. Yeah, man. Why is this not me out anyway? Um, I'm gonna give it a two, and it's going mm. under. Yeah. Anyway, um, our next movie for this cast will be. Superman returns. Sorry. Okay. Just gonna go to sleep <laughs> on this one. Yeah, it, is what it, is. it is what it is. I hope we get it out the way. That's all that matters, right? That's true. So Superman returns is next week. We got uh oh, well this week. Uh Zoom Academy is next week. Ghost Riders the following and Spider Man three ends the month of November. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I guess we wrap this up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for listening to another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. Make sure you check us out anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclone Inc. That is Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. That is YouTube. That is SoundCloud. That is Spotify. And we got a WordPress, so check it out. Where you at, Mark? Uh, follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and Twitch. Or Mark with the mic. Follow our... Uh, sound, Spotify is the easy way to listen to us. Uh, also, follow our Facebook pages, the Rest Echo Link and the Wrestling Bible pages. We are very active on there, so check those out as well. Um, I'll give a little shout out to uh, Popcorny Podcast, which is run by uh, Tenacious T, which is also Toxic Wop and the Man of Many Names. That's his pop culture uh, podcast. Definitely so check it out. And if you message him, send him a middle finger from me. That's it. Peace out. Laters. And always remember follow the Jinkies.